Hello, this is Sharif Abu Zaid, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can design an opt in page like the one you see right now and how you can connect it to your email marketing platform. So, this is how the opt in form will work to collect the email addresses of the visitors of this opt in page. So, when people add their name here and email address as well, and click the button here and then they will be redirected to a thank you page where you can thank them for subscribing to your email list and maybe even add some offer here some maybe some like an ebook with a huge discount or a mini course to upsell them all of this will be done using free tools inside wordpress but before i start showing you how you can do this please consider to subscribe to this channel because this video is part of my 100 days challenge to create videos every single day for youtube so your subscription to the channel will be a great support for me during this challenge now let me show you how you can do this inside wordpress the first step that we need to take is to install a plugin called cadence blocks and you can easily do this by going to plugins and then click add new and here let's search for cadence blocks and this is the plugin that we're looking for so we simply click install now and then click activate to be able to use the plugin as you can see, the plugin is now activated inside my WordPress website. So let's start by creating a new page and let's click pages and let's click add new and let's call this opt-in page. Now we can start designing our opt-in page. To access all the features added by Cadence Blocks, you need to click this plus button or this add block plus button. So let's start by clicking this plus button button here you'll find here at the top all these blue widgets or blocks have been added by cadence blocks you'll find an advanced button uh, block countdown timer google maps of course you can use these um, blocks to design the opt-in page and also any other type of website page so first we need to take a rolly out to add all of our blocks inside this rolly out so let's drag this rolly out here and now we can choose whether we need to have like a one column rolly out or two columns or three columns or like I think up to like six columns rolly out. I will start by using the one column rolly out. So I'll just double click here and then we will have a one column rolly out. This is how Cadence Blocks skeleton works inside every page. Once we have chosen the rolly out, when you go here, you'll find we have one ro rolly out right now. And inside the row, we'll find a section. A section is where we add all of our text, images, uh, forms, and all uh, or any other type of content. And for the row and the section, and also for the other blocks, you'll find in the right uh, side of the page of the screen, you'll find three tabs, the general, the style, and the advanced tab. Most of the time, we'll be working inside the general and the style tab. And for the advanced, you will be using it to maybe some tweaks for the rolly out and for the section and to add like padding and margins but most of the time we'll be working inside the general and the style tab the options under general and the style will be different according to which block are you designing or which block that you want to control so let's start by adding a background image to our rolly out to add a background image to the rolly out we need to select it here and by the way you can select the rolly out from here or under here you'll find breadcrumbs where you can have you can access all the blocks without uh, clicking this um, toggle uh, view so to add a background for the rolly out we need to select it and again for the style here you'll find the background controls you can choose to add a background color or an image so let's start by adding an image and let's select this image and click select now we have added a background to our rolly out. As you can see, it is not stretched across all the screen. To make it stretched across all the screen, we need to go to the advanced tab and under structure settings. Here you need to make sure that the minimum height is set to 100%. To make this 100%, we need to choose the vertical height and let's make this 100. So it will be stretched across all the screens, whether these are mobile, tablet, or desktop and PC. So now we have added our background for the background image for the rolly out to add or to make the section looks like a white section we need to choose the section itself and again under style here we can change the background color of the section to be white so now we have the background image the section in order to make this section like in the middle of the page so we can have it centered we need to go to the rolly out and here in this uh, bar we need to 
change the vertical alignment of the section so let's choose to be aligned in the middle and of course you can change it to be like at the bottom but for this video you need it to be aligned to the middle so now everything that we add inside this section will be just in the middle of the screen let's now close this tab so this is the background image and this is the section now we need to make sure that also the background image is stretched across the height and also across the width to do this we need to go here and choose the full width of the image itself now to make this section or the section of the screen decreased or just in the center of the screen we need to decrease the width of the section itself we can do this by going to again we go to the roll out and here under advanced we go to the structure settings i'm uh, not sorry not the advanced we we'll go to the layout and for the custom content maximum width let's make this like 750 okay now this is 750 now we can start to add all of our content inside this section so let's start by adding our title to add a title when you click this plus button you need to search for the advanced text the advanced text behaves like um, your text block where you can add like your headings your h1 your h2 your paragraphs and all and every type of text inside this opt-in page so let's just choose advanced text and here i need to add my title and this is my title to just click here to center align it and now we need to add our like subtitle to add it, we click this three dots and then we choose insert after. And again, we click this plus button and choose advanced text. And let me add something here. So now this is marked as H2 or heading two. Let's choose it to be like a paragraph. And now we have this as a paragraph tag. So again, we can make this center aligned. And in the right bar of the screen, you'll find all the controls or all the options relevant to the advanced text so let's make this text font size like smaller so to make it small now we need to add like our um image and also the um icon list to add this we need to insert a row inside a row let me show you how you can do this you can simply do this again by clicking these three dots and choose insert after and you choose a row layout and let's in this time let's choose an equal or two column layout or roll it out so if, again if you go back again you'll find that we are still working in one roll out but inside this roll out we have like a section and inside the section we have an advanced text tag or block and another one plus a row layout so here we can add our image to the left and our icon list to the right so to add an image let's first close this we need to click this plus uh button and search for image and this is the image block and let's uh, open our media library and choose our cover page so this is the cover page of the uh, checklist that we need to give to our um, first time designers of course here you can just control the width and the height of the image but i, I like to just you know to use these controls and then I like to make this like center aligned or align it to be in the center. And now here we can start by adding our icon list. We can start by adding like clicking the add block and search for icon list. And this is the icon list. Here let's start by adding our first icon list item. And here is our first I uh, list icon. We can just start or can just duplicate this and add the rest of our text. Now we have our four icon list items. As you can see we don't like we don't like the size maybe you need to make it like smaller to do this make sure that you are choosing all the icon list item because if you are inside one of these icon list you can control the one paragraph or you can control the size of the icon itself of this list item to make sure or to have like a global um list I or a globe to make like a global change to all the list items you need to make sure that you are choosing the icon list and here when we can try to change or we can change all the icons and the uh, the font size once and for all so let's start by changing the icon itself under the icon styling and let's choose this icon here to change the icon size you can control it from here so let's make this 15 pixel or let's make this like 20 and for the text itself we can just go to a list uh, text styling and here let's make this one smaller now this is a smaller text uh, of the all of the items we need to we also need to change the icon color so we are make sure that we are inside the icon list and here we can under the style we can change the icon color to be green from here as you can see we still have like 
spacing between the image and the icon list to, to make this smaller, we need to choose the rolly out itself, the rolly out of the image and the icon list. And we can just control it from here and control it from here to give this some spacing. And maybe we can just uncheck or remove the uh, gutter and also the row gutter to make it like zero. Now we have our icon list. I think we need to add like a title before the icon list. To add the title, make sure that you are choosing again the icon list from the breadcrumb down below. And here we click insert before. Let's add a text here. And let's make this like a small. Let's first make this like a paragraph. And let's choose the small font size. I think we have like a spacing between the icon list and the um, and the subtitle. To add like a negative margin, make sure that you are choosing the icon list itself again here. And let's go to advanced and for the margin, let's click this like set custom size and let's add like a negative 15 pixel of a margin. So now this is the margin. I think now it looks much better. And maybe also we need to make it like take it like above or take it above like remove this space or just minimize it. We can do this by again choosing all the rolly out and the rolly out of that contains the icon list and the image itself. And we click advance it. And here for the margin, again, we just can give it like negative of 15 pixel, maybe. Let's make this 20 pixel. And now we have our good margin here. So now we need to add our opt-in form. To, our, uh, to add our opt-in form, we click the icon list and we choose to insert after and click this plus button and search for. And this is the form. He, by default, the form inserts like a name and an email and a message. You can just choose the message field and click this delete icon to remove it. Now we have, we can, um, we have our name and email. Let's try to add, let me add a text to the button itself. Now we have our checklist or our button. Let's, to center line it, you just click here. Make sure you're choosing the form and you just center line the button itself. Now we are almost close to see the landing page. Of course, we can change all these. Uh, we can make it breathe much better by adding a padding here, but I will do this in a few moments. Now we need to add our disclaimer for the privacy policy. To do this, we need to make sure that we are choosing the rolly out of the inside rolly out and we click like insert after. And here we can add our disclaimer. Now our opt-in page is almost ready. Let's add like a sort of like a breathing or a padding around the section to give this some to give the section of the opt-in page some sort of a breathing here. So let's go here and let's choose the section itself of the main section. And under advanced, we can just give this a merge a padding of let's choose this one and let's choose it like a global padding of I think 24 is fine. 24 let's make this like 32 and let's click publish let's view the page and this is our opt-in page but of course we need to uh, get rid of the title the header and also the footer to make this this how the way that you uh, get rid of your uh, page title and header and footer will depend on which theme that you are using but most of the popular themes are follow the same rule so i will show you how you can do this inside cadence theme which is the theme that i'm using right now and but you can check with your theme how you can get rid of the the page title and the radar and footer so let's go back to our opt-in page and under page settings here we can choose to disable the page title and under the uh, also can disable the header and footer and let's click update and let's refresh the page. As you can see now, our opt-in page doesn't have a header and a footer and also a, a page title. So now we need to connect our opt-in form to our email marketing platform. Let me show you what Cadence Blocks offers you in this free version. So let's go back to our opt-in page and let's choose the form itself. And here let's go to the settings. Here after the, we can, under the actions after submit, you'll find the free versions. So here are the options that you have with this free version of Cadence Blocks. You can um, send an email to yourself or to someone else. You can redirect people to another page. And also you can connect it to MailerLite and Cadence or Fluent CRM for free. All these free options are offered by or for free. To add it to as a database entry or to send it to SendingBlue, MailChimp, or even add a webhook, which will enable you to connect this 
to any email marketing platform such as Active Campaign, um, uh, ConvertKit, uh, Aweber, and other popular email marketing platform, you need to be using the pro add-on of Cadence Blocks. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the MailerLite. So I will connect this form to our MailerLite or to my MailerLite account. So I'll just uncheck the email and uncheck the Fluent CRM. And maybe we just we just leave the redirect page or option so I can show you what how you um, how you can use the redirect option. So once you choose this and you close this tab, you'll find new options here, which is the redirect settings and also the mailer light settings. Let's start by the redirect settings, which means that what do you want when people complete the opt-in for? I like to redirect them to a thank you page where you can just thank them and also maybe you need, can offer them something for like a small fees for something like to upsell them with your uh, maybe ebook or mini course. So here we need to redirect them to a thank you page. So let's search for our thank you page. And this is the thank you page. So we just select it. And under MailerLite here, you need to add your API key. And you can get your API key very easily by going to uh, your MailerLite account and under uh, integrations, you just click generate a new token and you give it a name and you just copy and paste it. So let me just paste my uh, API key inside the form here. And then we click save. Then we need to select our group, which is a tag inside MailerLite. So I just choose the leads or the, yes, the leads group. And we need to map our name field to be the name field inside MailerLite and our email field of the form to be mapped to the email field of MailerLite. Now let's click update and let's again view the page here. Now this opt-in page is ready to be used to collect the contact details, the name and email of everyone that visits this page. So let's test it out. So just click. Uh, so let me add a name here and an email and let's click the button. Now we have been redirected to a thank you page where you just thank them and give them a note about how and when they will receive this free ebook. So this is how easily you can create and design an opt-in page using WordPress and also using free tools. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I make this video as part of my 100 days video challenge where I create a video for YouTube every single day. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye for now.